All right, uh, congratulations to Wyoming and their football team. Uh, they won in every facet of the game. Uh, today, uh, offense, defense, and, and special teams. We talked about winning the turnover battle. We lost it 3-0. to zero. We talked about winning the game in the trenches. Uh, we were unable to do that uh, tonight. And we talked about winning on special teams. And we didn't do that. Uh, you know, we're not a very good football team, like I've been saying all year. And that's ownership is, is on me uh, in every phase, uh, not just offense, offense, defense, and special teams. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, things, you know, have gone wrong this year. Uh, but we're going to go back to work and we're going to get it right. We're going to get it right. Uh, I have no doubt in that. Uh, you know, probably a lot, of, a lot of people have a lot of belief, but I do. And we will get it right. Questions? Mike, you had 20 carries for 20 rushing yards tonight as a team. How much of that falls on the offensive line and how much of that goes on the running backs and not getting north and south? Well, I got, I got to look at the film. Um, you know, we knew we were going to have trouble running the ball uh, against this team. Uh, they do a very good job up front uh, of getting off blocks and a lot of movement. We didn't handle movement very well. I might have got away from the running back game a little early, uh, but I basically didn't have any confidence in the running game. Uh, we're inept at running the football right now, uh, and you're not going to win many games when you throw it 54 times, and that's what they feast on. You know, they, they play zone. You know, we throw a high ball. Uh, with a pick, we don't pick up a blitz, get hit in the back, and another turnover, and then the late one was just trying to make a play. Mike, just uh, was your team ready to play tonight? Hell Did yeah, you feel they were, they were up play. for it? We got our ass kicked. I mean, you can write that we weren't ready to play, but we were ready to play. At one point, it was I think it was still 3 nothing early in the first half. You couldn't run the ball, but you st were you still trying to be determined with the run when you went with the sweep with Izzy, ended up losing seven? Yeah, it's bad. I mean, it's second, it's third and three. Uh, they were playing an eight-man front. They brought weak pressure and slanted to the field, and we whiffed on all all three blocks front side. And you know, we basically get kicked out of field goal range right there. And you know, it's three nothing. You know, I thought we had something right there in their eight-man front, and they had a good call where they slanted and we didn't block movement. Was it not just the the run game, the, the pressure that they were applying to the run game, but? It didn't seem like Colin even had time if you wanted to take shots deep. Was that well, they played, they played a lot of two-shell uh, coverage. Uh, they played a lot of bail outside. You know, we did get a little press man. When we hit the deep one to press, they made a heck of a catch. You know, it wasn't really – they played defense to not give up the deep throw and our inability to run the ball, uh, you know, versus those, set, versus those coverages uh, hurt us. Are you surprised at how, you know, this late in the season you s still struggled to, to have offensive consistency and, and win the offensive line? And no, not, not really. The way we've been playing, you know, all year, you know, all up front, uh, you know, it's been a different group in there, a rotation. Uh, had some injuries, but it is what it is. Uh, thought we had a good plan, but we didn't execute it. Mike, how much realistically can improve with four weeks left in this season? Well, we ain't going to quit. You know, I mean, we, we want to say we can't improve and the season's over. We have three games left, and we're going to fight, we're going to play, and we're going to get better. We're going to find out who wants to play football. Uh, you know, that's that's what we got to do. I mean, we, we, we can sit here and say the season's over. Hell, yeah, it's a disappointment right now. Uh, but, you know, we're going to find out who wants to fight, and they're going to play. Uh, and then, you know, we're going to get ready to – we're going to have an off week, and we're going to get ready to play Nevada. I mean, we we fought out there tonight, but we can't. When you can't tackle, all right, you can't play. When you can't block, you can't play. Uh, and we got we didn't block and we didn't tackle. And then you know we keep you know field position on special teams is killing us. We don't field punts. Uh, you know we we it's just this it's, it's it's and that's all on me. And we're gonna get it fixed. Is that the biggest frustration? Because a lot of the mistakes you're talking about come down to fundamental issues. Um, you know, full will coming up, hitting a guy, but he bounces off 48-yard touchdown, um, missing blocks, missing assignments. Yeah, you're going to miss some tackles, but I thought we missed way too many tackles uh, tonight. This was the leading rusher uh, in the conference and had missed two games and rushing for over 800 yards. Uh, then they add uh, Chambers in the mix. You know, it's an extra, you know, extra guy in the running game. And we didn't, we didn't handle it well. We run a stunt. We don't slant inside. Uh, we got guys wrapped up. We don't tackle, uh, and then it's very disappointing right there when we don't get lined up 
uh, and they basically have a walk-in on a touchdown. That's frustrating, okay? And that's not a representation of Colorado State football that I want to see or anybody else wants to see. And uh, I'm about sick of it. Mike, you've talked a lot about trying to stay positive this year. Are there any positives out of this game that you can build on these next three? We got three games left, uh, so there is there is time. You know, there is a chance to to improve. Uh, you know, as a football team, you know, you're three and six, so you got three games left. I don't think anything's positive about that. Basically, I just told them, you want me to be honest? You got your ass kicked in all three phases. You know, stay together and come back to work. Mike, given the fundamental letdowns tonight, like you said, the blocking and everything else, how do you evaluate Colin coming in there and, and the quarterback play in general? Well, I got to look, look at the film. I thought early, early on they gave us some different looks with some weak pressure uh, that we didn't handle well. Uh, gave up some pressures uh, when we had them blocked. Uh, but I thought he moved around good tonight. I thought he threw good balls. Uh, he was high on the dig to Preston when it should, probably should have been a check down. You know, that would be the one mistake. Um, you know, without looking at the film. But I thought he moved around in the pocket. He made plays, threw the ball well at times, had some drops uh, by guys. But you put too much pressure on – I don't care who's playing quarterback. You put too much pressure on a, on a team, on a quarterback, when you're throwing it that many times. I did think we protected pretty well, pass protected. Uh, and he moved around and got rid of the ball quick. Obviously, Craig kept his quarterback move a secret. How much time this week did you have to prepare for what Chambers brought to that offense as opposed to time maybe you spent preparing? Uh, I mean, we, we, we all felt like Chambers was going to play. They had been struggling all year uh, offensively, except for Nico being able to run the ball. And we, we, we thought we had a good plan. I, you know, I got to go back and look at the film. I thought at times we had guys there and missed tackles. Um, and then at times I thought we over pursued and guys cut back uh, for some big runs. But I thought they, they, they stayed on their blocks longer than we did. Um, you know, they block to the whistle, and we, got, we can't get off blocks. Coach, did you consider going with KJ at all in the fourth quarter, or was it important for you to give Colin a full game? Uh, no, I just, like I've said all, all along, I feel like I'm going to do what, what we feel gives our best chance to win the ball game, and I thought it was Colin at that point. Seemed like Marvin kind of took over there, especially in the second half. Was Izzy banged up or? Yeah, Jesus Izzy's, like Izzy's been. He was banged up uh, going into Boise last week, uh, and then you know had an injury uh, over the weekend and was not a hundred percent tonight. You know, Marvin is a guy that you know I think got going tonight and loves to play football, and so does Izzy. And Marcus had a chance on a trap and got tripped up. Uh, you know, Izzy just wasn't a hundred percent. All right, guys, thanks.